Because one time. No, I'm serious. They have a special ball here in the car. Because the reason why is perpendicular lines, I can always relate with crossroads, right? They cross each other. They don't just cross each other at a certain point. They cross each other to make 90 degree angles, which is very kind of important, which we just know is different than, um, than parallel lines. But the important thing that I'm really trying to make you guys see if you remember about perpendicular lines is that their slopes are not the same. Parallel lines have exactly the same slope, right? Perpendicular lines have what we call topposite reciprocals. Top Oh, opposite. Opposite oh reciprocal. <laughs> so opposite <laughs> reciprocals. So if a lot of you might be like, I have no idea what opposite reciprocal means. So let's just go through again. Let's look at this slope. I need to find a new equation, right? So I'm going to say y equals mx plus b, where m is my slope and b is my y-intercept. So the only thing I say is, I want my line to be perpendicular to this equation, and I want it to go through this point. So what is the slope of this equation? Well, remember, it's m is your slope. So the slope of this equation is 2. So if I want to find a perpendicular slope, I have to find the opposite slope. And when I'm talking about opposite, Justin, you might want to be writing this down. Your opposite slope is going to be you're either your negative or positive. So if your original slope is positive, I'm talking about the opposite sign. So therefore, my new slope is going to be negative. If my original slope was negative, then my new slope would be positive. So it's the opposite sign. Then I look at the reciprocal. Remember reciprocals, three-fourths? The reciprocal of three-fourths is four over three. Whatever number, when you multiply by its reciprocal, is going to always equal one, okay? So the reciprocal of 2 is going to be 1 half. All right? And you guys think about it this way. 2 over 1, the reciprocal is 1 over 2. You just flip the numerator and the denominator. So my new slope is y equal, or my new slope is a negative 1 half. So I say y equals negative 1 half x. Now, all I did was I found a new slope. I did not find anything with my y-intercept b. All right, so I still need to choose what my y-intercept is going to be. Well, I know that I can use x and y are coordinate points. So if I plug in an x and y point, I can find out what b is. So I'll plug in negative 1 for y equals negative 1 half times 4 plus b. Well, 4 times negative 1 half is a negative 2. Now, to solve for b, I add 2 to both sides. 1 equals b. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I have determined what my slope was by using my original equation and finding the opposite reciprocal. And I determined what my y-intercept was by taking that new slope and plugging in my coordinate points. So therefore, my equation is y equals uh, a negative 1 half x plus 1. All right? Got it? All right, let's go and take that test. Everybody's all ready for that homework quiz.